Welcome back to No Man's Land with Gaming Goose. What a beautiful day. Just heading back to the main farm with this new trailer. It's an auto load trailer, but it's not going to auto load the pallets. I will be bringing out a video soon regarding the auto load pallet trailer because there's a few things you need to know about it. It doesn't, it doesn't mix products, which is not good. I'm just going to head down to the farm, sell my produce. Well, welcome back to No Man's Land with me, the Gaming Goose. I'm just going to load this trailer up and get it sold. I do have quite a lot of produce to sell. We've still not done the fields yet. I'm not sure which way to take it, what to grow on these fields. I'm actually debating doing corn, but then the more I've been thinking about it, I'm thinking oats. I might try and get into some cereals. I do want to make another production chain, but for now... I'm going to have a steady drive down to the shop with this new trailer. I did sell my chrome curtain cider. Um, I am thinking once I've got enough money I am going to get the auto load trailer. But as I said in the beginning, I'm going to drop another video on that because I have noticed that it doesn't mix produce. But uh, I'll go over that in a different video which, which should be out in the next couple of days. After this one, so if you're watching this one and it's two days old, there will be another video that you can click on and check. Just passing the second part of the town, I do want to get the entire town built up, this bit's nice, I'm liking this bit down here, it's just so stunning isn't it? Laid out an absolute dream, it's where the fabric gets turned into clothing. And here we are back down at the shop. Right, I'm going to get this produce sold. Hopefully I should hit... Ooh, I'm hoping at least around 70, 80,000 so we can start working on some other things. But let's find out. Let's see what we get. Really enjoying this map still, though. We're on to... What is this now? 19th episode? 20th? I mean, absolutely loving it. I don't think I'm actually tempted to go on any other maps just because... I do like the whole aspect of having to build the whole town up. I'm hoping to get to around 100 episodes and build an entire town before I'll probably get bored of this map. It just really appeals to me. I am actually enjoying the egg production. I am going to get a second one of these uh, large chicken coops because they're not going to go on top, are they? I don't want to break them. Uh, they do seem to produce a good yield of eggs uh, once you've got your wheat and everything and I'm feeding them sorghum at the moment there's loads of different options obviously sorghum grows March April the wheat's later on in the year I think it's September October time so if you keep one field doing one another field doing another you can use the same equipment to harvest it and it's constant feed for your chickens which obviously then turns into eggs and it's constant money so I do like the egg production, but I like dipping my toes in a bit of everything, so I don't just want to go down one route, obviously you could just make a huge chicken farm, but I don't want to go down that route. I do want to get rid of that tractor eventually though, but I'm waiting for one to come up in the sales, I don't really want to buy one brand new. I'm trying to be a bit more savvy with my money now. We've got things going how I wanted. If you look back on the very first video, we started out with literally nothing and a bit of debt. And now it seems to be coming on really well. I did pick up that uh, nice little toy in the sales, that was good. So I'm going to uh, 
get the rest of this produce sold and I'll bring you back and see what we've made from it. Just putting up to the sale point, I did say I wanted a hundred uh, eighty thousand at the beginning of the video, but it looks like I am well, I'm well over a hundred thousand. I'm nearly touching hundred and forty, am I? Ooh, hundred and thirty-seven thousand. That's because of the clothing. Um, the clothing's worth an absolute fortune. It's about eighteen thousand per thousand liters. So I had three of those, which is a lot of money. So definitely, that was a good idea, getting into clothing. So now, just the small part, the small thumb bit of spending this money. What can we spend it on? I think first and foremost, it's got to be another sheep and chicken coop and sheep barn. Might just go medium, I don't think I need large. It's going to make me enough money as it is. I don't really need to, as long as there's enough wall to keep everything in production. I think the medium will be just fine. This holds, I think it's 25, is it? Yep, 25. There's 65 in my other. This will make this a nice little area. Can mow the lawn around it. Don't want to get it too close. That'll do. Get close to the path. And then we'll go and order a sheep. So that's 25 plus 65. That is a nice amount of sheep. 19 total. Quick maths. And I think once I've got this filled up, we'll see how much we've got. And we'll try and look at getting a second chicken coop. Might not be today, because I don't think we've got enough. But this is going well. Turning this wool into clothing is making me quite a lot of money. So let's get down and get some... Get 25 new sheep. I think I'll look at 15 adults, 10 lambs, which will grow over the year. They cost a little bit less, and the food and grass will be enough to get them of age in the next few months. And then we'll look at getting these big fields done as well, but that won't be this episode. Worry not, there'll be no ploughing today. Let's get down and get these sheep. I would definitely recommend anyone who's just getting into the game to look at, um, I think everything we've gone down has been good so far, greenhouses are an absolute gold mine, this is a good production ch chain to get into because it doesn't actually cost too much money, some of them look like quite a lot of work for the cereals and things but I have seen a new update out for chocolate, chocolate muesli I think it is, so I might look down that route, but the large barn does produce a lot of wool. And then with this medium one as well, it looks like we'll be in constant production, which will be good. So I'll just get parked up and we'll go and get a sheep. Right, 
I already, uh, yeah, I already have some stein shafts, so I think I'm going to go down the Landrace of Beth Bentheim, just so if we've got two different kinds. I don't think it makes much difference on this one. On 19, they did say things like, grows a bit slower, needs more feed, but I can't seem to see anything like that on these, but just for the aspect of the game, I'm going to get some different ones. So I'll get 10 of these, no, 15, yeah, 15 adults I said, didn't I? 15 adults and we'll get 10 lambs and there we go so we have two barns two separate breeds of sheep producing me some wool i'm going to go and jump on the mower now get them some feed get them all filled up and enjoy my evening thank you all for watching and i'll catch you next time